Hello, welcome again to Gear Junkies TV and a new video. Today we're going to take a look at the PWN Malevolent Synthesizer. Malevolent is the first product of the English company PWM. It is a monophonic, semi-modular analog synthesizer. Its appearance is a bit retro, a black plastic case with green accents and removable side panels. The synthesizer has a touch sensitive keyboard with 32 mini keys and on the top are all the rotary knobs and CV connections. By the way, you can stay informed about all our videos by subscribing to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video and you can hit the bell button to get notifications when there's something new on our channel. So there is no memory for presets. This is a pure analog synthesizer that you set up with the buttons and possible patch cables. Let's take a look. From left to right you can clearly see the signal path. A section for keys and an LFO, sections for the two oscillators followed by a mixer, filter section and finally the VCA section. The envelopes have their own panel below the oscillators. The oscillators have controls for frequency, coarse and fine, shape modulation, FM1 and FM2, shape and level. With the three switches per oscillator, you choose which waveforms you want to hear at the same time. Because the level controls are already housed in the oscillator sections, the mixer's only controls are for aux and noise. The filter has rotary knobs for cutoff and resonance, FM1 and FM2. The VCA section has two controls for amplitude and a drive. Finally, there's a master volume control. On the back are all the connections, USB, MIDI, clock in and out, and uh, the power connector. But it also works on uh, USB without power, and in that case, uh, it is also a class compliant MIDI interface on your DAW. A small joystick on the lower left corner is used for pitch band and modulation and additional settings. Also in this section are buttons for keyboard, octave adjustment, arpeggiator and vibrato. On top of all the buttons the, and the knobs there is a whole series of CV in outs per section. These conform to the 1V per octave standard and 3.5mm jacks as used in Eurorack modular systems. A number of connections have already been made internally and this is reflected on the panel in the green text. These connections are broken when you insert a cable. For example, the LFO is internally routed to the shape modulation of the oscillators and filter frequency and envelope 1 to FM modulation and filter. It is well designed and gives you a lot of modulation possibilities without having to use cables. The layout of the CV connections above the knobs on the panel is also nice. Cables do not hang over the knobs and when you place the malevolent in front of a modular synthesizer you can easily connect them. The green text is just not very readable when it is a bit dark. The keyboard also has CV gate and velocity out and it can output these while the synth internally receives the information as well. Handy for combining additional voices from another synth with the PWM. There is also a local off mode which you can use to control the malevolent via a DAW or external keyboard. Two main components that define the sound of a synthesizer are the oscillators and the filters. And both are quite special in the malevolent. The oscillators are X4046 types. This is an oscillator with a kind of internal instability that gives the waveform a warm analog character. Maybe not the most precise oscillator, but it has a thick sound, especially if you detune the oscillators a little. In the PWM you can use an on-off switch to hear the three waveforms sawtooth, triangle and plus pulse uh, simultaneously or in any combination. They then share the pulse, wave shaper and FM modulation per oscillator. You can't sync the two oscillators, but they each have their own volume control, after which they are mixed with the aux and noise and continue to the filter. Let's listen to the oscillators for a moment. I'll set up uh, the drone switch here so we have a continuous sound and uh, we go through the shapes of the oscillators.
filter is a Solon key 12 dB per octave type with resonance. It is related to the filter in the Cork MS20 and it sounds nice and a bit rough. You have access to three types of filtering. By default the mixer is internally patched to the low pass input. If you want bound pass or high pass you have to do it with a patch cable by connecting the mix output to the band pass or high pass filter input. The resonance can choke the filter a bit, producing a sound that results into a kind of low running diesel engine. The output level varies quite a bit, going up as the resonance is turned in. This gives the malevolent a very distinct sound. Warm and deep, but also a little dirty. It is certainly not a tight sounding synthesizer, and that's totally fine. It sounds nice, and the synth is able to produce all kinds of sounds. Let's listen to the filter for a moment. I'll put back on the drone mode and run through the filter, low pass first. The malevolent has two ADSR envelopes, one of which is assigned by default to the filter frequency modulation and FM modulation of the oscillators, and the other one to the VCA. There's one LFO which only has triangle and pulse waveforms and cannot sync or have any other parameters. An interesting extra is the drone mode of the VCA. This keeps the gate always high so it stays open and you can hear sound continuously. This is useful for sound effects and when using the auxiliary inputs. Of course you can also link external modulation sources to parameters of the malevolent. Because it has a clock input and output, you can then synchronize an external modulation to the arpeggiator and thus apply rhythmic modulation shapes in, for example, the filter or the FM of the oscillators. The arpeggiator has six modes, up, down, up, down, one, up, down, two, plate and random. And these are set by moving the joystick in combination with the arpeggiator button in one of six modes in, by pressing it into the corners. Works fine, but you could perhaps have uh, in the, had some indications here on the device to remember them. The PWM automatically detects whether there is an external uh, clock from the analog input or from MIDI USB. And the arpeggiator speed control then becomes a sync rate divider to play faster or slower arpeggios or a different time signature. You can uh, push the joystick uh, down to turn on the hold function and there's a push button hidden on the stick to lock the hold function. Let's listen to the arpeggiator.
when combined with other devices, the power of the Malevolence modular design uh, really becomes audible. Therefore, I paired the Malevolent with an external synth voice, in this case, this Neutron. So let me show you how this is set up. Uh, pitch out goes to the VCO, one volt per octave input of the Neutron oscillators. Gate goes to the LFO trigger. The LFO out of the Neutron goes to the shape modulation inputs of both of the PWM oscillators. So we get an ever-changing waveform um, and this is synced actually through the gate to trigger. The mixer output of the PWM goes through the analog delay of the Neutron and then it returns into the filter input, uh, the low pass of the Malevolent. So what do we think of the Malevolent? You could think the Malevolent is one of the many in the line of synthesizers that are semi-modular and monophonic, but in reality it turns out to be quite a bit more unique. The retro look is fun and gives the synth a bit of an 80s feel which combines nicely with the unique sound. It is that sound and the possibilities that are convincing. The sound is deep, also a bit gritty. The Malevolent owes this to the interesting design of the oscillators and the filter, whose resonance simmers nicely. The LFO function is limited, but the modular design makes it easy to expand. The mini keys may not be for everyone, but the keyboard plays fine and also keeps the machine compact and affordable. It is also versatile. The semi-modular design makes it easy to pair with modular systems and usable as a MIDI uh, to CV converter and with a DAW by disconnecting the keyboard from the synthesizer. In addition, you can also use it properly in a live setup uh, with the internal and external clocking and the arpeggiator. A very welcome newcomer that will be able to conquer a place in many studio setups. Well, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, please give us a thumbs up and don't forget to uh, subscribe to our channel if you want to see more of our videos in the future. See you next time.